What's going on guys, this is Rob, and if you're enjoying the content that I'm uploading onto my channel, then feel free to subscribe, and you can also offer suggestions on topics and characters and storylines and whatnot that we can have discussions on uh, later on in this channel. So today, I want to try something a little bit different. As we shift our focus back to all new, all different Marvel and DC Rebirth, or at least emphasizing those videos or those, that content here on my channel, I don't want to forget about comic book concepts, the series where we basically focus on aspects of comic books that don't really fit into a video on a particular story arc so much as they're, they kind of exist in and of themselves. And I want to focus on the different colors of Speed Force Lightning within DC Comics. Now, you might have noticed if you read Flash Comics that the various speedsters in the DC universe are often depicted as being surrounded by lightning of various colors. And while sometimes it's yellow, sometimes it's also red, blue, or even black. And so in this video, we're going to try to explain why that is. Now, in order to do this, we're gonna go look at the comments made by Brett Booth, the former artist for The Flash, and the current artist for the DC Rebirth Titan series. Now, of course, you can find this link down in the description, but in a post in the DC Comics subreddit, user Steven is Awesome revealed that he had spoken to Booth via Twitter asking about the different colors of lightning. And Booth responded by saying, the closer you go to light speed, the more the colors begin to shift. And so while red is the slowest, blue and indigo are actually the fastest. By saying this, what Brett Booth is doing is revealing that the Speed Force Lightning exemplifies the scientific phenomenon known as Blue Shift. Now, in order to understand what this means, we have to get scientific for a second and basically explain the different colors of light that our eyes are able to perceive. So if you already know this, bear with me for a second while I run over this for those who don't. The first thing to understand is basically wavelength. Now, wavelength refers to the distance between the peaks of the electromagnetic waves. Wavelength also varies inversely with another concept called frequency, which is basically the number of waves that pass a fixed point in a certain amount of time. There is a little more to this than that, but that's pretty much all we need to know for this particular discussion. And so the electromagnetic spectrum ranges from waves with relatively long wavelengths and low frequencies, like radio waves and microwaves, all the way to waves with extremely short wavelengths, like x-rays and gamma rays. And somewhere in the middle of all this lies the small spectrum of waves that the human eye can perceive as visible light. However, even within visible light, there there are variances in wavelength and frequency of the various colors of light, with red having the lowest frequency and violet having the highest. And so what we mean when we refer to blue shift is a decrease in wavelength and an increase in frequency with the red end of the visible light spectrum towards the blue end. And so the question becomes, why did I explain all of this and how on earth does it apply to the Flash's lightning? Well, the roots of this lie in a Nerdist article by a guy named Kyle Hill called The Flash is Only Red When He Stands Still. In this article, Hill gives a fairly detailed explanation of how the Flash himself, as well as the lightning that surrounds him, changes color as the speed approaches the speed of light. For instance, if the Flash traveled at 15% of the speed of light, he would appear yellow, which is further up the spectrum than red. If the Flash speed increased to 30% of the speed of light, he would appear green, at 40%, he would appear blue, and at 50% of the speed of light, the flash would appear violet. Now, all of this is assuming that your eye could detect the color of an object moving at that speed at all, which it couldn't, as the brain's incapable of processing images that fast. But regardless, at any speed above 50% of the speed of light, the flash would enter ultraviolet territory, which is beyond the visible spectrum for us to see anyway. Now, with that out of the way, we're gonna shift back to what this means about the flash in terms of comic books. During this discussion on Reddit, Brett Booth went on to say that the blue shifting of the Flash's lightning indicates not only that the Flash is simply moving faster, but that he's further trapped into the speed force. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what the speed force is, it's basically a huge source of speed energy in the DC universe from which all speedsters derive their powers. So for instance, when we see Barry Allen in the earliest stages of the New 52 universe, he's surrounded by red lightning. In DC Rebirth, however, he's surrounded by yellow lightning. While many would likely dismiss this as just an aesthetic design choice, if we take Brett Booth's comments at face value, we see that this shift is actually representative of the fact that Barry is becoming more in tune with the speed force, which has enabled him to run faster and caused his lightning to shift further towards the blue end of the spectrum. Booth also went on to say that the blue lightning is a future version Barry possessed in the Out of Time story arc, which Booth worked on along with Robert Venditti, during which time he was trapped further in the speed force and is actually faster than the present day Barry Allen. 
Now, when asked about the black lightning generated by Professor Zoom, Booth did not divulge an explanation, but teased at some sort of reveal in the future. But with regards to the white lightning that accompanies Wally West following his return to the DC Universe and Rebirth, Booth seemed to hint that it could indicate that this version of Wally is able to speed up time, which would lead one to infer that this version of Wally is actually faster than the current version of Barry Allen. This would also make sense because Wally has spent a lot of time inside the Speed Force since the beginning of the New 52 universe, so it stands to reason that he would be able to tap into it to a greater degree than Barry Allen could. And so this theory holds up applying it to the most recent Flash story in which Barry Allen battles a new villain named Godspeed. During their conflict, we saw Godspeed surrounded by white lightning after he stolen the Speed Force powers of several speedsters that had received their powers after a massive electrical storm in Central City. Enhanced by the other speedsters' powers, Godspeed finds himself able to move faster than Barry Allen, who's still surrounded by yellow lightning. It's also worth mentioning that the New 52 version of Wally West, who got his powers as a result of the storm as well, is depicted with red lightning, indicating that he's not yet able to tap into the Speed Force enough to travel as fast as Barry. And so with that being said, what this basically means is that you can determine the speed of a speedster depending on what color lighting they display, but something else to bear in mind, that this is all coming from Brett Booth himself, which also means that not all artists would see things the same way he did. But at the very least, this gives us an indication of how the speed of the various speedsters in DC Comics relates to the color of their lightning and helps us determine which one of these speedsters is faster. But with that being said, we're going to bring this video to an end. If you guys are new here to the Rob Corps, make sure you guys uh, drop a like, make sure you guys hit the sub button, and uh, make sure you guys leave a comment down below, because I'm kind of curious, which speedster, of all the speedsters that have existed in DC Comics, which speedster is your absolute favorite? And I will catch you guys later. Peace.